Death is inevitable, but it is not always easy to face. Many people fear death or avoid talking about it, even when they or their loved ones are terminally ill. This can lead to a lack of preparation, communication, and support for the dying person and their family. However, there is a growing trend of people who choose to plan ahead for their end-of-life services, such as funeral, cremation, or burial arrangements. This video will explain what pre-planning end-of-life services means, why it is beneficial for the family, and what to watch out for when setting up these services. What is pre-planning end-of-life services? Pre-planning end-of-life services is the process of making decisions and arrangements for one's own or someone else's funeral or memorial service before death occurs. It can include choosing a funeral home, a casket or urn, a burial or cremation option, a memorial service, and even a legacy project. Pre-planning can also involve creating legal and financial documents, such as a will, a power of attorney, an advance healthcare directive, and an obituary. Pre-planning can be done at any time in one's life, but it is especially recommended for people who have a terminal illness or are in hospice care. Why is pre-planning end-of-life services beneficial for the family? Pre-planning end-of-life services can have many benefits for the family of the dying person. Some of the advantages are Reducing stress and conflict Pre-planning can help reduce the stress and conflict that often arise when family members have to make difficult and emotional decisions in a short time frame after a death. Pre-planning can also prevent disagreements or disputes among family members who may have different opinions or expectations about the end-of-life services. Saving money and time Pre-planning can help save money and time by locking in the prices and services at the time of planning, rather than paying higher rates at the time of need. Pre-planning can also help avoid unnecessary or unwanted expenses that may be imposed by funeral providers or pressured by salespeople. Honoring the wishes and values of the dying person. Pre-planning can help honor the wishes and values of the dying person by ensuring that their end-of-life services reflect their personality, beliefs, and preferences. Pre-planning can also help create a meaningful and memorable celebration of life that honors and celebrates the life of the dying person. Providing peace of mind and closure. Pre-planning can help provide peace of mind and closure for both the dying person and their family by knowing that everything is taken care of and that there are no regrets or uncertainties. Pre-planning can also help facilitate healing and grief by encouraging communication, gratitude, and farewell. What to watch out for when setting up pre-planning end-of-life services. Pre-planning end-of-life services can be a compassionate and practical choice, but it also requires careful consideration and research. Some of the things to watch out for when setting up these services are 1. Choosing a reputable and trustworthy provider. Not all funeral homes or cremation providers are created equal. It is important to choose a provider that has a good reputation, offers quality services, respects your wishes, and does not pressure you into buying unnecessary or expensive products or services. You can check online reviews, ask for referrals from friends or family, or consult with consumer protection agencies to find a reliable provider. Understanding the contract and the costs. Before signing any contract or paying any money, it is important to understand what you are getting and what you are paying for. You should read the contract carefully, ask questions, and get everything in writing. You should also compare prices and services among different providers to find the best value for your money. You should also be aware of any hidden fees, cancellation policies, or refund policies that may apply. Storage of documents. After making your pre-planning arrangements, you should keep your documents safe and accessible. You should store them in a secure place where they will not be lost or damaged. You should also inform your family members or trusted friends where they are located and how they can access them when needed. You should also review your documents periodically and update them if necessary. In conclusion, pre-planning end-of-life services is a trend that is becoming more popular among people who want to prepare for their own or their loved one's death. Pre-planning can have many benefits for the family, such as reducing stress and conflict, saving money and time, honoring the wishes and values of the dying person, and providing peace of mind and closure. However, pre-planning also requires careful consideration and research, such as choosing a reputable and trustworthy provider, understanding the contract and the costs, and keeping the documents safe and accessible. 
By following these tips, you can make pre-planning end-of-life services a compassionate and practical choice for yourself and your family. I hope this video helps you understand what pre-planning end-of-life services are and why they are beneficial for the family. Thank you for watching and please like this video and subscribe to this channel.